Hello, hello, hello. It's been long being here and um, I just thought of dropping something today and I even don't know what I'm going to name this video because it's not a trading uh, strategy, neither is it, um, I don't know how to put it, but this is just something to trigger your mind and make you think outside the box, okay? I love testing out new stuff and, you know, finding new hot points or spots that can be able to bring in more profit so this is an eye opener for you you remember the other time i gave you the the rsi uh, sweet points reversal points so this is more or less like a, a, a video like that so it's not a strategy so to speak but just study and see how it will take you okay so i'm doing it on mobile but you can do it on on, on your on your laptop as well but unfortunately the mobile version and the pc version are not very the same that you will notice some bit of differences but you can be able to use both platforms and um uh, many have been knocking about the tdi so the tdi for the pc version you download it from online or from our telegram channel and install it but for mobile version it is always a pdf okay it is always a pdf and let me do that today like show you exactly how you do the tdi for the mobile version okay so here we go let's go to indicators in the indicators this second window ignore these others see this second window is where our 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 tdi indicator lies okay so how do you add this portion you just come and click this is the main chart you click this f plus button and when you click the f plus button it will give you an opportunity now to add this relative strength index okay so when you click on this f uh, f button it will open a window like this okay here and then you come and pick a, from your indicators, you pick the RSI. Okay, so I'm not going to do that because I already have it. So when you add the RSI, it will now give you an indicator window one, which is now here. So what are the settings for the RSI? So here, this here. Okay, let's check. So it is an RSI 14, apply to close, pixel 2, or where you can put 2 or 3 or whatever you want. And your colors should be something bright that you can see or darker if your background is a bit, uh, a bit bright so you can put something darker. And for the levels, I love using 70 and 30. Yeah. But um, the original version of the TDI, it goes 68 and 32. Okay. So, but I love using 70 and 30. And then you add 10 and 90 and 50. So, how do you add the levels? You just come and click the plus button. And it will give you this plus sign here. It will give you the point of uh, an option of adding these other levels here. Okay. So, after you've added your RSI. Okay, that is complete. You now come and add uh, a Bollinger Band to the RSI. Okay, so you add a Bollinger Band here. So these are the settings for the Bollinger Band. Period 34, deviation 1.619, shift 0. Apply to first indicator data. This is the most important thing on this setup. Apply to first indicator data. And then the levels, you just leave it as it is. Okay. So how do you add the Bollinger Band on the indicator window one? You come and click here. Then it will give you all the indicators. Then you choose what you want to add. The second thing you add, you add a moving average here. And come and uh, add moving average 34. Shift 0. Uh, method simple. Applied to. This is a very important also. First indicator data. Okay, done. 
The third indicator you come and add is uh, indicator 7. So I'm not using that for now. So this 7, I will explain later what it does. And still apply to first indicator data and simple. So currently I've put it to black because I will explain why I'm not using this level in my strategy. I'm not using it currently. So I've set it to the background color. Okay. So this is your chart here without the, 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 the white line that you're seeing. So it is this bright yellow, the blue Bollinger band, the red middle line, which is called the market baseline, and then the lower Bollinger band. Okay. So if I was to add the seven one, you would see it going along the yellow line, but I'm not using that for this strategy. So why did I add something new to make it unique? I added another RSI. Okay. So let's check it from the settings. Uh, indicators. I added this RSI. Okay. This one. RSI 40 applied to close. Only that. RSI 40 applied to close. Uh, the levels is still the same as the initial one. Okay. And then, so lastly, this is how it will look. So from the colors, you remember, this yellow is RSI 14. And this white is RSI 40. Okay. This yellow is RSI 14. And this, this white is RSI 40. So how does this uh, give you like what you need every time you find rsi has gone above and our our rsi 40 so our 14 has gone above and our 40 is around the middle uh market base in or the middle bollinger band know that it will start spiking but it will not be spiking everywhere come and check here it spiked at level 50, but it was not touching our market baseline. Okay. It was not touching our market baseline. Exact this point. It's not touching our market baseline. So it comes here. We cross the market baseline and go up. As we are coming down, check what happens here. The market baseline, this point exactly. Let me pick an arrow so that you can be able to see. Uh, I need a tool, an arrow. This point here is what I'm talking about. Our RSI 40 comes to level 50. And while it is coming to level 50, our market baseline, this red line, is also at level 50. Yeah. So the market baseline is meeting with RSI 40 at 50, level 50. And check what happens. This is the point. Okay, that is the point. Do you see the spikes that come after that? Yeah, you see the spikes that come after that? If those two signs coincide from this point, coincidentally, if and when our moving average 200, this blue line is moving average Emma 200, and this pink line is moving average uh, 50, okay? So if those two lines, sorry, 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 sorry for that. I'll have to uninstall some stuff. So if at this point, our moving average 100 was above us then for sure for sure level 50 is always a downtrend going down so the trend will go down for some time so this is a point of catching many pips at the same time until the trend is is tired sorry and you see from the top here to the bottom here how many pips are those yeah how many pips are those so how will you know that it is your point to exit? You will know after this RSI 40 has crossed and gone up and then retrace back to our market baseline. So as our market baseline is moving away from level 30, started going up and our RSI 40 has used the market baseline as, as support. This point here, it was 
was using the systems so at this point here it was using it as support as it is going up it is resisting from market baseline so as they are coming up together that is your point of exit from the market okay let's see other points see again this one here so this one uh, I wouldn't recommend much but yes it brought in some more pips so if if and when the the the, the RSI 40 is almost touching the lower Bollinger band lower Bollinger band also that indicates some few pips coming your way yeah but I wouldn't put much effort on that I would only look for situations where it is fitting my 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 narrative and let's continue so what are we looking for we are looking the places where the market baseline will be touching the rsi 40 at level 50 okay you see all this far all this far the spikes are coming but there's no connection and you see we are struggling to go up yeah and then when our market baseline starts facing down and especially after you see they met here around level 70 and then crossed okay let's check what happens after that it uses the market baseline as its resistance as it's coming down so another option you can always wait until when the market baseline has met with the RSI 40 and then they, it, it, it kind of reverses from that point. So as it's coming to touch again, this point, as long as it's spiked from that same point, even if it's not level 50, but as long as it's used it as resistance, know that many more spikes will be coming and it will be using that market baseline as resistance going all the way down. Yeah going all the way down so let's continue where is your exit point again your exit point will be here your exit point will be here as the rsi 40 is using the market baseline as a support point as it starts going up that is where you exit okay let's continue all these are not relevant for us you remember I told you anytime you will see it trying to go outside the lower Bollinger Band, sometimes you can be able to catch some pips there as well, but it's not my main concern with this strategy for now. Check here. They are meeting at around uh, above 50 a bit, but at least it spikes a bit and comes down. But it's not a proper trend, so to speak. Okay. So you can always let the first opportunity pass. All this ranging is not our our setups. Why? Because it is crossing. It's not used the market baseline as, as support. And how do you know a proper setup is a point like this when the market baseline is coming down and your RSI is coming from below. So this point, if it had spiked from this area, then that would be a legit point. But all this time that we are going up, the market baseline is facing up. It is not very favorable. It tells you that the trend is going up. Okay. So let's still look for other options. You see here, both at level 70 and then they start spiking down. So this was not like my proper setup unless... If it spiked from this point where the market baseline was coming down and RSI 40 they meet and then they start spiking down, then that would, would have been a proper setup for us. And you see it's all struggling now. No downward spike but all trending up. Let's continue. This kind of setup is what I was talking about. Here. Here. We come and use the market baseline as our resistance. Yeah. And at that time we are above 70. Check what happens after that. Ooh, sweet. Sweet. Yeah. So that's it for this uh, tutorial, guys. It was just an eye opener for you to see what usually happens. The market does not just randomly move from point to point. 
And why I love using the RSI is that RSI does not repaint, okay? You can be able to, to, to test this strategy with many other uh, RSI levels, like this one, I did it with RSI 40, and you see the sweet points that it gave me, yeah? So test it with other uh, RSI levels. You can test it with that 30, you can test it with 50, and see which other points it will be able to give you. And let it be, it is spiking from the market baseline. That is the main point to take home from this video. So that's it for this tutorial, guys. And uh, happy trading and God bless you. Bye.